cold open, exterior space, night. <laughs> it's always night in space. Extreme wide shot, Gary drifts alone in space. Far off in the distance, we see debris of the space battle. Gary, you have eight minutes of oxygen left. Gary drifts as O2 sputters out of his suit. Hugh, if you had eight minutes to live, and you could do anything you wanted, what would you do? Facticulating. Facticulating. Oh, I would transfer my AI into a corporeal being and go see Paris. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, that's lame. I mean, wow, super cool. Interior Galaxy One Corridor Continuous. Kevin flies through the corridor, singing as more sames continue repairing the ship from the inside. Nothing but holes, nothing but holes, but holes, but holes, holes, holes. Nothing cover up these holes, bug these holes, holes, holes. Nothing but holes, 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 but holes, bug these, bug these holes, 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 holes. Yeah! Yeah! Wow! Yeah! <laughs> I've always wondered what a crackhead munchkin would sound like. <laughs> That's awesome! Guilty. Gary. If you are not back aboard the ship in five hours, your brain will go into convulsive spasms and then explode. Let's go! <laughs> the airlock opens. Gary hops into the hawk. Shouldn't we take Mooncake? It's too dangerous. Make haste! Make Gary haste! Sh Gary shouts back at Mooncake. I'll miss you, bud. Be good. And don't whiz on any of my stuff. Cut to Avocado grabs Gary. He pulls Gary's arm, trying to free him. <laughs> Friend mode! Engaged! Friend! <laughs> He was just betraying you. Untrue. We clasped hands. Right, bro? I, I was desperate, man. I was just trying to save my son. Gary reacts. Right then, the Lord Commander rips Gary's arm off. Gary screams. Oh, 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 oh my God! You idiot! That's my freaking arm! You ripped wow. off my arm! Oh, my God! What the freak? I'm free everywhere! Lord Commander, soldiers are closing in. The only way out is down the endless silo. Certain death! Gary looks down. There's a lone catwalk. We jump for the catwalk. Are you insane? No. I'm super insane. Gary grabs avocado and they jump down to the silo. <laughs> Somehow they land on the catwalk, which instantly snaps. They fall <laughs> dozens of levels between the hover cars and the ships. Clarence gives them a thumbs up as he watches them fall. <laughs> Clarence. There's a Clarence line. Atta boys. I need that suit back. We're falling! Oh my gosh! Gary's nose starts bleeding with avocado vomit. Suddenly they hit a window of family's cover car. Oh my god, David, kids, it's me, your mother! <laughs> David hits the wipers, swiping Gary and avocado off. Gary's arm remains stuck in the windshield. <laughs> no, my arm! I forgot my arm back up there! Quinn strides toward the pity guard ship. Tribor chases after her. Quinn, Quinn, where are you going? To the first hawk I can jack. Something big is happening, and I'm not waiting while Command sits around twiddling their wieners. Maybe I can't stop it, but I'm going to find out what it is. Cover for me. Quinn boards the hawk, blasts off. <laughs> Why would they be doing <laughs> <laughs> Why would they be twiddling their wieners? Why? <laughs> hey, Mooncake. My name is Nightfall. Don't let Gary die because of you. Attention, good people of TBS. If you're <laughs> asking how you can, how Quinn can be in two places at once, and how did she become Nightfall, this is exactly what we want our audience yes. to be asking. We aim to generate questions, theories, and sleepless nights. Woo! Yes! yes. <laughs> that was actually in the script, yeah. <laughs> ah. Friends help each other through thick and thin, and thinner, and nothing. But I have nothing to give in return. Yeah, you do, yo. It's a friendship, yo. <laughs> yeah. I've been stuck here for so long with just freaking robots. Look. He points to the Sames holding a medical tray. Robot, robot. More of Sames. Robot, Kevin robot. Hold, Kevin holding her cookie. Robot. And the Sames whose arm is ripped off. Robot. And then Gary points at the Bay Refrigerator. The other name, the name Other Beth is written on it. Freaking robot. Uh, that's the refrigerator, Gary. Really? Because I had some serious dark conversations with that thing. It knows everything about me. Gary threateningly points at the refrigerator. You keep your mouth shut, you lying robot. <laughs> Gary's robot arm is now attached. Microvascular transplant coverage complete. Gary wiggles arm, his arm around a bit, making fists. He smirks. It's an unconventional way to start a friendship, but hey. I'm... Gary puts his finger to avocado. <laughs> no words. 
<laughs> Only clasps. Avocado extends a hand for Gary to clasp. Bro, are you being real this time? As real as it gets, baby. Then I promise you, we will get your son back. And keep Mooncake safe. And murder that guy's face off. Uh, I don't think that's such a great idea. Real raw friendship mode engaged. Close up of Pat Bond robot hand clasping. 